Okay, so today we're going to be continuing Mafia Definitive Edition. We're going to be picking up from exactly where we left off, so let's jump straight into it. Those first days in Celieri's bar were slow. I moved crates and delivered messages. The guys busted balls and told stories from the old country. Mostly we just waited. I got to thinking, maybe life in Celieri's crew wasn't going to get me clipped. Come on, <laughs> but I what did I know? Finish it off. You, Tommy? Jesus. Yeah. Boss is waiting for you. Thanks. Let's go see what Salieri's got in store for me then. Hello. There he is. Hi, Paulie. How you doing, Sorry, mate? I'm late. Take a seat. That's collection day, boys. So, Tommy, you'll drive. Paulie and Sam can handle the rest. It'll be routine. Just a handful of stops today. Bill at the motel was a little short last month. So make sure he pays us the interest he owes. No problem, boss. Don't lay hands on anyone unless there's no other choice. Our clients need to understand that we provide a valuable service. They need to look at you and see Santa Michael. They need to believe you'll protect them. So let Morella stoop to breaking legs. We're better than that. But the bills still do, and everyone pays up. We can handle it. Go see Ralphie about a car. Okay, boss. Now, Vinny said to say he's got something for you, Tom. Head to him first. Hell yeah. Probably just wants to tell you some bullshit story about some guy he whacked 20 years ago. No, he doesn't. He wants to give us a pistol, doesn't he? He gives us a little revolver. Give me a gun. Hey, just the guy. <laughs> Hey Vinny, you alright? So and I thought of you. Oh, how kind of you, Vinny. I won't say no. You ever carried a rod? Shot him at the fair a couple of times. <laughs> right. That don't count. Pointed at the target over there. Good boss. Look at that quick draw. Now click, click, click. Bang. Brain all up the walls. Okay? Now show me a reload. Can I shoot Vinny? <laughs> Never shoot Vinny. I love you too much, Vinny. You're a good man. All right. Last thing needs to be hidden. Stick it in your belt. Good Can you even belt. see that I've got it, Vinny? Shooting starts. Get behind some and don't shoot yourself. Thanks, Vincenzo. I appreciate it. Good hey, advice. The Frank and the boss, Vincenzo. To you. It's hey, have a good one, Viddy. Let's go see Ralph now. Ralph, hey, where you at, buddy? Hello, lads. Ralph, hey. You, you know how to g g get into one of these, Tommy? Elbow goes through. Reach inside. Easy. And in the afternoon to f f f fix the window back up. Watch. And learn. You're a regular magician, Ralphie. Mm. Hell yeah. Teach a man to fish, eh? Okay, it's caught. You got it. And now the engine's gonna fail every single time I try and start it until these guys get in. Because that's a detail in the Mafia games that I love. Actually, I don't think it was in Mafia 2. I know First it was in Mafia Al. 3. He runs a bakery on Long Beach but at least I'm pretty you sure it was. Yeah, I know it. Al's late again? Seems so. Eh, that's too bad. Let's go make our first collection and see if it's a fruitful business venture. Oh, sorry, mate. Hey, I used to be a cab driver once. But now... Well, now I'm, act I'm actually still a cab okay. driver. This I just it. drive m mobsters around now instead. Watch what we do today, Tom. When it goes smooth, it's a breeze. When they put up a fight, sometimes you gotta think on your feet. Sure. Just follow my lead. After you fellas. After me. Sam, Polly, how are you? We're good. How's little Julia? Ha! Not so little now. She's turning into a pain in the ass, just like her grandma. <laughs> That's good to hear, Al. Real good. 
Now you got any trouble around here? Any punks causing problems? No, no. Nothing like that. Good. So you got the money? I got it uh, waiting in the back room. I'll... Tommy will get it. You stay here where we can see you. It's been real slow this month, Sam. I was worried I wouldn't have enough. Al. Can I have the money, please? Where's the money? I don't know what that means, but I don't think it's very nice. Oh. Thank you. Even though it was already there. I'm not thanking you. I have a good day to you as well. We'll see you next month, Al. Let us know if you need anything. Anything at all. Sure will, Sam. Sure will. And give our best to your ma. Huh? Polly. Oh, Polly, why did you open the door so aggressively? Ah, oh, pleasure meeting you too, mate. Come on, Sam. We've got business to attend to. Okay, next up we got old Eugene's place. China store up on Tallow. He's not dead yet? Almost. Heard his nephew's taking over. Guy used to run this next place, Tom. His name's not Eugene. Guy's a Chinaman. But it sounds like Eugene. Well, that's what we called him. Polly slammed his head into the counter back in, what, 27, I think? <laughs> yeah, it was hilarious. After that, no problems at all. If you look, you can still see the blood. Old bastard couldn't scrub it out. Drive Sorry, mate. Keep some of these guys on our books to remind the Chinatown gangs there in our city, not theirs. But we don't know Eugene's nephew, so he might need reminded too. This is it. I'll cover this one, Sam. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. He's doing the store on his own? Yeah, when Polly's built up a little steam, he needs to let it out on his own. She gotta let him get on with it. It's his way. You can hear it in his voice. Gotta let him lone wolf from time to time. Keeps him happy. Sounds yeah, like he's having some fun. You ain't having much fun right now. When he's <laughs> going, Polly don't stop. Once we were putting a squeeze on this tailor over in Holbrook, the guy ended up in a wheelchair. Here he comes. He's a fast worker. Are you quite all right, Paulie? My goodness. Right. Drive before the cop show, Tom. Next stop's Bill at the motel. Gene's nephew's guy's money is ours next week with some extra besides. You doing okay? Now this is quite out of the way, isn't it? Yeah. He's okay. This is oh, where shit goes south. Cover. Yeah, that's seen some more blood. Spoilers for an eighteen year old blood. game. And nothing he by can't the way. scrub out. Once he's back on his feet. You wanna come out with us again, Tom? Get to hear even more about Chinese nephew guys scrubbing their own blood out of shop counters. Yeah. Seems like it's not too hard. Not hard. But kinda not hard. I don't know. Comes natural to you guys. Don't see why it can't come natural to me. So anyone could do this. Me and Polly, we've been working these streets for years. You come in and you think you know it all. I'm not saying that, Sam. I. You've been a day on the job, pal. You haven't seen what we do. You haven't seen how we do it. Sam, I think you ought to... No, Polly. This punk thinks he can walk in here like a big shot. I put greasers like him in the ground. I think you gotta say you're sorry, Tom. Sorry, huh? Well, I'd say sorry if I couldn't see the bullshit smile you're trying to hide. <laughs> you got him, though, Sam! You got him! <laughs> I could smell the crap in your pants from here. Nah, you didn't get me. <laughs> when little Tony first came out with us, I had him on his knees before he knew I was yanking his chain. <laughs> yeah, you did better than him anyways. I love the synergy between Paulie, Sam, and Tommy in both Mafia Definitive Edition Jesus. so far and the original. I hate it out of the city. You hate it most places. Yeah, but out here it's worse. How come there's a place so out of town on our books? Out of town's the safest place for deals. The safest place for card games. The safest place for most of the things we do. We're expecting a big bag of money today. 
The guy owes. If it ain't big, the boss will be pissed. Yeah, this place is a real earner. Oftentimes, the places that get you the most dough are the ones most people don't look at twice. Just recently, the motels had a new lease of life. Last oh, come on. Before Lost Heaven, the rum coming up from Cuba. They drive it this far? Sure they do. And that's how we can sell it so expensive. This shortcut Bill's was not a good idea, but I'm not giving up. Salieri protects it, but he lets the other families use okay, it Okay, I'm giving up. Even the rope. <laughs> Drive safe, Tom. Polly's real delicate. Oh, to keep the peace? Sure. Plus, it's far enough away that no one cares. So long as everyone's making money, no one's gonna rock the boat. Anyone else starting to miss the side of streets and sidewalks? You not one for the great outdoors, Polly? He's not one for anything. Indoors, outdoors, in the city, out of the city. I hate it out here. Like when we sit in the field doing some booze handover or something. It's always knee deep in shit and most times it's dark and cold as hell. That's why it's good we got you now, Tom. You can do all the jobs that Polly hates. Well, happy to oblige. Okay, there it is. Finally. Here we are, lads. Wait for us here, Tom. We'll be back in a bit. Okay. Christ, Polly! Tell Salieri from here on out this place is ours. Capish? And don't come back. End up in worse shape than your friends. Get Phil. They're trying to get information out. I gotta get you to a doctor. Uh, I can wait. Get Sam out of there. Okay. Okay, just hang on. Right. Sam's in danger, and we're the only ones able to help. Let's, let's save our boy. I see a guy around here on the map. Hello, mate. I got my own Next time I'll tell him. I'll tell him I had enough of this boy. Right. I'm ready to shoot a gun in this game. Oh, that's nasty. Get in. Oh! Did I just kick him in the balls? I think I just kicked him in the balls whilst he was on the toilet. Ouch. Anyone in here? I knew you were there because I watched you go in. I like the stealth. I'm liking the stealth. I'd be lying if I said I didn't want a suppressed pistol. Because I really do. But I don't know if there is one in this game. Oh, that's cool. When you switch hands... You can actually see Tommy pass himself the gun between his hands. I don't know if that's a thing in previous games, but I've never noticed that until just now in any of the Mafia games. Is there someone there? No, it's a... It's an item. I think it's a note. Roberto Gilotti. I've probably butchered that name, but... There you go. Oh. Plenty of other frauds. Get over her somehow. Over here! Yeah. If I would have gone earlier, I would have been seen either way. Oh, that's satisfying. Oh, there's another one. 
That is so satisfying. Does anyone here have a another pistol? Oh hell yeah! Actually, I'm gonna keep this pistol. Oh no, that one had better hit fire. Why am I spending so long? My boy Sam's in here. Sam, they really went to work on you, buddy. Christ! Come on, you'll be all right. You're tough as nails. He's got the money, Tom! Oh, catch the bastard! Where is Sam? He's okay. Inside. Then go get the money! I'm going, I'm going. Ah, here's his friends. Come on, we can finish him. Can I not select where I aim on the vehicle? Or is that something they've not brought back from Mafia 3? Because that was pretty cool in Mafia 3, if I'm honest. I really like that. Doesn't seem to be a feature though in this game. That's a shame. Although, as long as he dies, I don't care where he gets shot. Make up for a bit of lost time here. There you go. I'm very well aware of that. I hope you are too. I don't know why that was so difficult to kill him, but what is meant to be on the inside. I should have took off there and then. But I couldn't go back to being a nobody. And that's that. That's when Tommy saw the cost of joining the Mafia. And that's a turning point, if you will, in the series. One of the more subtle turning points, but it's, it's definitely a turning point. So that's how a regular Palooka goes from cabbie to mob enforcer overnight, is it? Just dumb luck. Didn't feel that way at the time. Me parking on that particular street. Taking a break just when Polly and Sam are coming around the corner. What are the odds? I felt like I don't know, like someone was watching out for us. <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night, pal. But it's a lucky break all the same. I mean, one day you're busting your back, doing an honest day's work in a city that's been trying to scrape you off its heels since the day you stepped off the boat, and the next you're stuffing your pockets full of Salieri's dirty money and lording it over the rest of us. Yeah, it wasn't like that. Back then, Celieri didn't have the run of the city. For every buck Celieri made, Don Morello would turn ten. He paid off cops, politicians, judges, and anyone he couldn't buy. He scared into looking the other way. He did seem to have the city jumping at its own shadow, I'll give you that. You hear anything about Joey Crackers? Yeah, got his name in the Morello file, sure. Boxer, right? Yeah. That's the guy. The way I hear it, Joey was just driving to the gym one morning. Probably daydreaming about winning a belt or something. God damn it! Moron! You drive with your goddamn eyes closed! Look at this! Jesus, Mary, you dumb. Tom Morello, I didn't know it was you. Do you know anybody else driving a rare import in this part of town, Joey? No. Well, then, uh, I'm sorry, I, uh, I was driving real slow. You're saying this is my fault? No, 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 no sir. I, I just, I just, I, I ain't never been in no accident. Well, repairs are gonna be expensive. Oh, you, you're not gonna need that, sir. The tires are just fine. It's, Grills a little bent up is all. I mean, I got a cousin I got... <laughs> uh, 
Uh, someone spun you a tail, pal. You got an informant right there says Merle made a mint every time crackers went to the mat. That's true, too. And still, Morello left that poor sap dead in the street. Head all caved in. Not Don Square. Well, maybe the Don knew Joey's career was on the downhill. Or maybe he was trying to scare some other guy into paying up. Who knows? Don Celieri chalked it up to Morello not being able to think straight when he was mad. You, uh... Huh. Have any more run-ins with Morello's crew back then? Not at first. For a couple of years after I joined up, things were quiet. We got into a few dust-ups with guys trying to muscle in, but elsewise it was just the usual routine. We are running booze, offering protection, me and the boys doing rounds to collect, small time. But I ain't gonna lie. Most days, we was also having a bit of fun. So with that all said, thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, drop a like on the video. If you disliked the video, drop a dislike on the video. Thank you very much for watching once again, and I will see you in the next video.